It's windy. It's locked down. Give me a break. The hair is fine. Welcome back. Watermelons. Now we've done watermelons before. We did sugar baby watermelons in this greenhouse. I had four growing here and I've got two very good watermelons off it. Now I've started growing these plants here. These are the same seeds from two years ago, which I've put it up in just like peat free compost and they just rumped away. So that's good. So I've got a lot of germination, but I'm going to do some in there. I'm going to do some outdoors because it might be a hot year again this year. So what I've done is dug out this bed and this has taken me about 12 hours. So I've been three hours up here today digging this out. Um, it's part of the old compost, which I'm kind of getting rid of. I've got rid of my fruit bushes. So these um, composts are going to be dug into there. I've got all this bindweed out of here and over there. So I've got about two cubic meters of bindweed, if you can believe. So the job for today is quite straightforward because I've done my hard work here. Watermelons like uh, free draining soil and they're hungry and they like heat. So hopefully, you can see the sun up there. This is going to be the hottest bed in the garden. So I've got some grit to dig in down the bottom. I've got this peat free tomato compost and I've got strulch trademark, which is just a uh, straw mulch to go over the top. Now we can't get too many in here. We can only get them about a meter and a half apart. So that's, that's four plants for all that, all that work, 12 hours of work for four little plants, but we'll see how they go. I mean, it's not the best country to grow them in, but um, lots of people do black plastic and cardboard and things, and I haven't got any of those, and I'm not going to do any more plastic on here, on, on this garden. I've got a bit left over from previous years, but that's it. I'm trying to cut down the plastic. So, digging little pretty things in for these. And then they go, I think some of them have already started doing their little tendril thing. Look at that. Whoa. And we'll probably get one, maybe two fruits off these. Who knows? It's an adventure that we're both going on today. Right, more digging. My back is already sore. I almost forgot you. So I was busy doing the watermelons. So I thought, I'm so tired, I've got to go home. I've been here for three and a half, four hours now, maybe. Um, I was just getting a lettuce for lunch. Uh, but look, it's it's really nice. I tell you what, this strulch stuff, which is rotted straw, just smells great. Hang on, I'm just kicking sticks, sorry. I put these sticks down here just because it's, I don't know where to put them. Look at this, look. Don't they look happy? Now, because of lockdown isolation things, you can only buy one bag of compost or mulch at the, um, at the, at the garden centre. So, we have a naked midriff. But then we've got the four plants in and they, they look good already. So I hope they're gonna be all right. It was very windy yesterday. It's a little windy today, so I hope they'll be protected. I've given them each a, a full bucket of water. Um, yeah, it looks good. I think I might need a catch crop in the middle. Any ideas? Right, I'm going to go home, probably have a bath and ibuprofen and just uh, probably watch this video again. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. All right, watermelons. I'll see if they work outside this time. See you next time.